It's got managers, club owners and players saying more needs to be done about prejudice in football. But not everybody in the game is willing to discuss allegations of anti-Semitism during last weekend's match between Tottenham and West Ham. West Ham supporters were accused of taunting Spurs fans of anti-Semitic abuse during Sunday's derby at White Hart Lane. The club have already issued a lifetime ban to one fan for directing a Nazi salute towards the home support. And manager Sam Allardyce, alongside Jewish owner David Gold, has vowed to root out the small minority of troublemakers. A zero-tolerance approach has been applauded by Spurs boss Andre Villas-Boas and many other managers in the Premier League. But England boss Roy Hodgson seems reluctant to offer his support. No, I leave that to the authorities. Uh, I think it's very... It's a very controversial subject, unfortunately. It's one that's very, very much in the news, but I don't have anything to say that would add anything to the debate that's going on, so I prefer to leave the debate to people who can make a difference in that debate. Spurs fans were reportedly subjected to anti-Semitic taunts during their Rafa League game with Lazio last week. And when the Serie A side met Udinese on Tuesday, there was no questioning their support towards cleansing football of prejudice. So the response to events involving Tottenham has shown a united force in eradicating discrimination from the game, even if one of the ambassadors of English football doesn't share the same attitude.